Well, joining us now is GB News' political correspondent, Catherine Forster. Catherine, the Prime Minister has been sort of doing a whistle-stop tour uh, today a lot across the country. How's he been received? Well, um, in the audience of presumably carefully selected people that were there in Morecambe, moderately well, as you would expect, given that 50 million is going to be spent on an Eden project for the North. So obviously, Morecambe are one of the winners of this £2.1 billion that the government is spending in 111 areas. Um, he's quite comfortable in that sort of environment, less so when he's being asked um, to read a speech directly. So I think we can expect to see lots more of him getting out and about, but in a controlled way. Obviously, there's been some criticism of the allocation of these funds, um, saying that a lot of it's going to London and the South East. But the government have really pushed back on that, saying that in terms of money per head of the population, most of m m the biggest winners are the North East, the North West and, in fact, Wales. So the government the levelling up slogan that Boris Johnson got his 80 seat majority partly on the back of. We've heard a lot about it and the government really are keen now, less than two years from a general election, to show that they are mm -hmm. doing something about this. So obviously lots of areas will be very happy, but of course local government funds were slashed massively during austerity. So those areas have had a very rough time. And of course, not everybody is happy. We were hearing Paul talking about Cardiff getting money. Well, what about Swansea? And Lisa Nandy said it's like a Hunger Games pitting areas against each other. But the government today have got ministers in all four countries. They call it a star burst in Whitehall speak. They've got cabinet ministers all over the place and they're hoping to get this positive message out about we care about you wherever you are in the country and we're spending money and uh, we're not talking about the strikes for a brief moment. Mm.